Three, two, one. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Bronx Pinstripe Show. As you can see, we're sitting on a bench. Yankee Stadium is that way, behind you. We are doing the thing we do for playoff games. Yeah. We record from the, the hallowed grounds where winners played. We watched the <laughs> Winners did play here. They did play here. The bat's right there. I'm looking at it. I'm wearing my T-shirt. Meet me at the bat. It's where we all used to uh, congregate to go to Yankees games back in the day. And... Um, well, so so Dodgers won the World Series tonight. Dodgers won the right in front I of us. I have a leadoff. New York, New York. Frankie, uh, Frankie Blue Eyes playing nice and loud for them to celebrate. Yeah, you know, a, a little a little callback to their Brooklyn days is really what it was. Right, they're a New York team. How in the hell did they lose that game? How do you lose when you are up five nothing after three innings? Judge hit a home run in the first inning. Jazz hit a home run in the first inning. They manufactured a run in the second inning. Stanton hit a home run. Cole hadn't given up a hit. And then it was complete and utter meltdown. Top to bottom meltdown. Defense. Mental mistakes. Bad pitching. Everything. Meltdown. It was a culmination of what the problem has been during the season. All of the issues that happened during the season, all of the small mistakes that the Yankees could could never ever you know come through could polish up the the, the the little things the fundamentals ended up absolutely destroying them in the fifth inning of the pivotal game of the World Series that ended up losing the series it was it was it was perfect irony is what it was yeah, I mean it was perfect irony I guess because we've been saying for six years this team cannot do the little things well, we've all, we, not even not even just for six years. But for this World Series, they can't win the World Series by playing bad sure. baseball. That sure. was the that was the, the the biggest motif coming into this. They got away with it playing the Cleveland Guardians against that the, the AL Central, as you like to point out. You weren't wrong, but when you come and play a Dodger team, you can't give them outs, and six they outs. they gave them, them six, six outs, outs. In the fifth inning. three free outs. Yeah, with with absolutely unspeakable errors judge dropping the ball Volpe making the 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 Aaron throw to third Cole and Rizzo non-communication covering the bag going what the, to like, first whatever the hell that was the, the, we're recording we walked out of the stadium it took us a while to get out of there but we we have not looked at post-game stuff or whatever I I'm genuinely curious to find out what the explanation is on that either way when you look at that play from where we were and I've seen the I've seen pictures of it from Twitter and such and I know there's like a large gap between where Cole is and where Rizzo fields the ball. But as the first baseman, if you're deep like that and you're fielding the ball, you're expecting your pitcher to be there yes. no matter what. You're fielding the ball, your head's down to field the ball, and then you're looking up to, to give a scoop to the pitcher, and there was nobody there. And I think nobody he was shocked did. by that. But either way, uh, well, all it was, the, it was all terrible. All five runs in that fifth inning were unearned runs. Yes. So they literally handed the Dodgers – the five runs yes. to tie the game. Yes. They then take the lead, and Cole ends up going. He came out. He pitched seven, right? He ended up pitching six and two-thirds. Holmes gets the last out of the seventh. They go to Canely, who didn't pitch the day before. And so you're thinking, okay, Canely's going to be fresh. Canely to Weaver, and you can close they, this out. You know what they were? They were on the changeup tonight, boy. And he starts the inning out single, single walk. And then Weaver comes in in a possible situation. Impossible of course, situation. of course, Mookie Betts is going to get that. Run. Yes. Of course, Freddie Freeman is going to yes. get the next run in because the Dodgers do the little things right. Yes. The Yankees do the little things wrong. Yes. And then from there, I mean, it's just complete. Well, well you have that complete lifelessness. In you the, have uh, that, and then there's and then there's a situation where, um, you have Weaver, <laughs> a dog on the old dog. A dog's us. running the third baseline. You have. Weaver with uh with the engagements, three of them. Yeah. And on the third one, if you don't get that guy out, guess what happens? He moves he moves and, to the next base. And we were we were talking about that in the stands. Like legitimately, I've never seen that happen in a live baseball game or watching a baseball yeah. game. All that comes down to is Weaver forgetting yeah, oh, for, that rule. For sure. Or he forgot that he had already thrown over twice. Whatever I don't know is, what it he's was. He's just forgetting in the moment what's happening. Yeah. He's he's clearly gassed, first of all. Yeah. And so he's like, all right, I just need a mental break from focusing on this hitter. I'm going to throw over to first again. Oh, right. I can't do that. Yeah. No, it, it, uh, what is it going? It looks like it's not. 
Sorry. No, so I mean we we can we can sit here all night and break down all the mistakes that they made. Honestly, what yeah, I mean the catcher's interference as well, which Bro, it's the fifth uh, you just go to it was all in one inning. It was all in one okay, shot. Of course it was, but it was mistakes later in the game. Too. Yeah, but but like the the, the but insane my, my, part is that they, they gave the entire thing back. Well, here's the problem. The, the the craziest part about this whole thing is they did everything right to start the game. Sure. Cole gets the shutout inning, he comes in there and dominates. You get you get then uh judge first pitch, boom. They go up, they get the lead. Judge he exercised the demons, he did it. It was, it's next to impossible that they blew this game. It's, they ag- had, it's egregious. It's, they it's had crazy. so much momentum in the early part of this game. It looked like it was going to be an easy win. We were, shame on us. We were talking about strategizing how you get Cole out of this game with a reasonable pitch count so he can come back in six because or Because guess what? As a, as a team in the World Series at that point, you should execute that. Sure. You course. should execute that. It should have and, and here's the thing. It's not like even like, even in that fifth inning, you're looking at what Cole was doing. He wasn't pitching poorly. What did he start? Uh, he, was, in, he started the fifth with He had like 30 pitches, pitches in that inning. 40, 40 pitches, pitches, pitches to start the fifth inning and crazy. ended with like 80. 80 yeah. 84. Yeah. Okay? And so if Judge catches the fly ball, the Volpe, error is, is, the Volpe error is the least egregious of them. But if he doesn't make that play, and of course if Cole Rizzo doesn't, don't have that miscommunication, Worst case scenario, it's five to one coming out of that inning. Cole's at like sixty-five pitches. Yes, no harm, no foul. You got out of it, and you are cruising to a victory. And all of the pressure is back on the Dodgers. Yes, and instead, the Yankees crumbled. Absolutely crumbled. They, they melted, man. Like, <clears throat> and it starts. We, you could hear people talking in the stands, talking in the bathroom, talking on their way out of the stadium. Why this team, blah, 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 all the reasons. What it comes down to is this team's leadership, which is Aaron Boone, is he, he's terrible. He, he's terrible. He does not he, he, have, did, he didn't make those errors. He didn't do those things. But no, but the starts, tone. The, the, the lack of There's been a tone all season. It's not just tonight. It's just a culmination. Tonight was the culmination of what the season was. The season was, was, the season was riddled with... Inconsistent play, riddled with bad baseball, riddled with uh, making those small mistakes all the time, and it's bad base running, all of the little things wrong, and starts, that's what ended the season. It starts at the top, not focusing on them, not having accountability for them, and you see it bleed into the players. and And Judge, for as much as that home run was awesome in the first inning, he is going to be remembered for this postseason for absolutely killing this team. The MVP of the league and the best player on the team did not show up. And in the game that they ended up losing the World Series, he dropped a can of corn fly ball. Wasn't even a can open, of corn. It was to just open right the gloves. flooding for the Dodgers to come back. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It was being in the stadium watching that play from the stands where we were. It was just like your floor. Your your mouth drops. You can't believe what just happened in front of you. It's it's almost unbelievable. Like that doesn't happen. A, a ball like that does not get dropped, and 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 then it did, and then the floodgates opened. Look, man. Like I don't I don't know how to I don't know how to say this any other way besides the fact that the the Yankees caught the ending that they deserved. Yeah. Because they did. They caught the ending that they deserved. They they've been a team that that has been just painful to watch for a lot of the year. And, and when you see the inconsistent play and we're all looking at this team and the talent on this team, you see the potential that was just really never reached. And the fact, the fact is that they're an undisciplined team. They're a team that, that makes bad mistakes. And yeah, there's no accountability. There hasn't been in a long time. There hasn't been since the Boone era started. And I, I see people talking about that, like, blame me, Boone, you don't know what you're talking about. Blame me, Boone, you don't know what you're talking about. It's beyond what we just saw. It's the tone. It's been it's been like this for for years. It's That's, it's just it's sloppy sloppy play and it's 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 over overthinking too many too many things and and not doubling down on the on the little things that matter in baseball and that's the fundamentals. I don't care what I don't care what level of baseball you're in, the fundamentals are the number one thing 
always, 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 always. You have to catch the ball. You have to throw the ball. You have to hit the ball. If you can't do those three things, you can't win baseball games. And the lack of fundamentals obviously got them bounced in previous years a lot sooner than they got bounced this year. But as you said, and as we've said, that was a product of the competition more than the Yankees um, succeeding. Yeah. Um, it was yeah, a really, I mean, really disappointing way to end the season. I, like, there's no other way to put but it. But disappointing, but fitting, like you said. Like, but fitting, like, yes. Legitimately fitting way to end But the also, season. like, the fact that it was a slow bleed all the way to the end. Yeah. Because they came out so hot. You just, you, it couldn't, it couldn't be this game. And, it couldn't be this game, but then and, it was. And you know what, the, the, the thing about the Dodgers, like, they could, you could, the, by the, by the pitchers they were using out of their bullpen, you could sense, like, this isn't over. We're, we're, we have, we're going to have chances in this yeah. game. They were using their big relievers down five. And you might be thinking, like, why would they do that? Like, just save them again for game six. But, no, they knew that thing wasn't over. They knew there was a lot of baseball to play, and the Yankees would have plenty of chances. I also think Dave Roberts understands that when you have a day off, you can you could just yeah, go you could just go and, and, and exor- use all of those guys, and, uh, and that's what they so, did. It was uh, a very fun three innings and then a very not fun seven innings. Yeah. Or six innings. I can't do math. A lot of Dodger fans in left field, too. They were they were loud and getting louder as the game went on. And apparently, we were sitting in uh, in back of a Dodgers fan, which we thought was a Yankees fan the entire game, up until the ninth inning when he was cheering. It's <laughs> like, what? Dude, this guy's a Dodgers fan. But somehow, the other Dodgers fans knew that he was a Dodgers fan, which was very. He was confusing. sitting next to two Yankees fans, yeah. so I was confused. He was there. It was an older guy. He was there with two other guys. Mm-hmm. They were Yankees fans. He was in just like a pink polo. That should have been a tip off. She was confusing. And uh, he was like. Silent the entire game and just assumed it was a Yankees fan until the Dodgers were closing it out and he's fist pumping. Well, okay. He's been waiting all his life. He saw it right in front of him. Well, we saw a team win the World Series. We weren't wrong with uh, our premonitions were, were, were close. We just had the wrong team. You know? It was I mean, uh, Dodgers yeah. in five. That's what we said all along. I mean, the, the, the crazy thing is, like, it's not outlandish to say the Yankees were a few mistakes and a few, a just few different decisions away. You could say a few, but then when you see how many stacked well, up at the end. Of course there are stacked up. Too many. It's like they blew game one. They blew this game. That's two. Yeah. They won game four. Yeah. That's three. Like there's a very real scenario this team should have been up three But three because of the little things they were. Of course. Yeah. And that's it. And that's it. That's what it boils down to. It boils down to... It boils down to the small things in baseball. It doesn't. It didn't even boil down to hitting home runs or getting hits in runners with runners in scoring position Which or any of that stuff. It, it boiled down to catching the ball and yeah. fielding the ball. Which is the most basic level. Crazy. Of and so my Major dad, leaguers. My dad's texting me because, I, I, as I've been saying, my dad, uh, he said, the only consolation to the Yankees losing the World Series is hopefully this means Boone's going to get fired. And I had to break the news to him. I don't think Boone's getting fired. But Who he never gets now, fired. He now thinks because this was such an embarrassment that this. Oh, he's back on that train. He's back on the train. Yeah. This was this was maximum embarrassment. It was maximum embarrassment. That's the thing. Like if you're if there was a scenario, you're looking at it. Um, Getting swept and losing last night, eleven nothing, would have been less embarrassing than the way they lost. Because of the way this game started, yes. Yes, because they were and up the, five nothing. Yeah, and, the, and the, like, they're up five nothing and made errors to lose the game. Yeah, yeah. They they won the game and then they lost the game in the yeah. same in the same nine innings. Yes. Yeah. Unbelievable. Definitely right. a crazy way to finish. Uh, it's impossible to say that they didn't deserve it because they do. They deserve it. They deserve, they deserve this outcome. And don't, do. don't, like, don't get me twisted. Me saying, like, oh, the Yankees blew it. The Dodgers didn't. No, the Dodgers are a better team. 100%. And the Dodgers deserve it. And they took advantage of everything. They but took the advantage Yankees of every opportunity. took advantage of every opportunity, which is what a good team And then does. at the end of the day, what did they do? They moved. They, they got the fly balls to get the runners in. They played small ball at the oh, end. Like, they what did get I the say? Runners like, in. When Weaver comes into that impossible situation, bases loaded, nobody out. But Betts is getting that run in 100 out of 100 times. Yes. And what do the Yankees get that run in? 30 out of 100 times? 40 out of 100 times? Yeah. I, it's, I mean, we saw it the other night. Rizzo... Fly ball, didn't get it, and then Volpe had to hit the grand slam. So, I mean, like, that happened. Right. So, all right. We uh, thank you guys for, for riding with us through the playoffs. Uh, obviously, this episode, it might be on YouTube if, if this video looks okay. I know a lot of people have tuned in on YouTube over the past 
few weeks, so we appreciate that as we've been live streaming after the game. Couldn't obviously. go live today. The uh, signal did not Being cooperate. Being the game uh, means a little bit different. This will obviously be up on audio, and um, I don't know when our next episode will be. It'll be next week at some point, I assume, when post-mortem, post-mortem stuff it takes place, and we'll take it from there, see what happens. Anything else you want to say? That's it, man. There's, there's not much to say. This team, uh, this team folded like a fucking cheap lawn chair, unfortunately. And, uh, and that's how we end the season. All right. Congratulations to the Los Angeles Dodgers. All right. We'll talk to you guys soon.